people who just take it seriously and people who don't assume that being gay is a phase. You have to have an open mind and an open heart. A willingness to put members of the community before yourself. I just think if they're open-minded and not closed off to what have been stabilized identities. It might seem almost contradictory to say, but I think a really valuable quality in an ally is knowing when not to speak, knowing when not to speak over people who don't always have the opportunity to speak. My friends at college are really great allies to me. They supported me when I changed my name. When I came out to my best friends, I had told my parents before I told my friends, and my parents had basically told me that they weren't ready to accept what I had to say to them. But then my friends all called me and baked cookies the next day and told me that, you know, gay was okay, and it wasn't like something that I was to be ashamed of. When I came out as uh, non-binary and changed my um, presentation as well as my pronouns, my friend didn't, um, react negatively like a lot of other my friends and really normalized it. I am in like a huge state of gender questioning. I identify as somewhat gender fluid uh, and I was presenting like super masculine on one day right after I was presenting super feminine. My friend walked up and said, hey, what pronoun do you prefer right now? Well, when I told one of my closest friends that I was bi, she, um, I don't know, she just seemed to be like very understanding. Uh, staying consistent. I think being an ally um, can't be timely for you. You can't just like retreat back into privilege. Taking it upon yourself um, to educate yourself. No one's ever going to do that work for you. Knowing someone who can benefit from allyship is definitely an advantage. But at the end of the day, if you don't have the compassion or the intellectual and emotional curiosity to educate yourself, and be willing to actively listen, then um, allyship is not really something you can fully achieve.